Hello. See these? This is the Peter Grant series. It stars Peter Grant, which is why it's called the Peter Grant series. And he is both a policeman and a wizard. Well, a trainee wizard. And these have been very successful, and I'm very grateful for that. But next week will be a new book, False Value, which will be the latest book in the series. And this time, I've sent Peter Grant somewhere he's never been before, the tech industry. That's right. Peter Grant is going to be facing cubicles, hot desking, and people who speak in a language that even he, who is nothing short of a nerd himself, doesn't understand. And so therefore, I recommend False Value. If you want to know what's really going on in the world of tech and magic, False Value is the book for you. Welcome to the Waterstones Covent Garden science fiction section. This is the section that I used to run when I worked here, although admittedly it was upstairs when I used to run it. And welcome to Guards Guards by Terry Pratchett. Now, you may be thinking this is not exactly a new book. And true, this is not a book that has just come rolling hot off the presses. It is a book that sells at least four copies every week in every bookshop in the land. However, for me particularly, it is an inspiration because I like crime. And this is fantasy crime at its best because it's about a police force coming into being. It's a proper procedural about a police force coming into being and their first case is murder by dragon. And I, I just love this. And I don't really think Terry Pratchett needs too much hype from me. So I'm just going to say, if you've never read any Terry Pratchett before, read this book. I, I can't believe how you've managed to get this old, you know, more over the age of 12 without reading any Terry Pratchett. But hey, you know, it's possible. If you have, read this book. If you read it, like a long time ago, read it again. It deserves it. Now for something different. This is N.K. Jemison. This is a collection of short stories. Very good place to start. These are excellent short stories. She is a major talent. I, I picked up her first book and uh, I, I read it all in one go. And then I read the next one all in one go. You know that thing where you just like cascade books. You pick up a book and then you have to have the next book in the series and you have to have the next book in the series and then you find out that they're still writing the next book. That's very frustrating. I think all authors should at least bank at least six books before, you, before they're allowed to publish the first one. That way, that won't happen to me again. Well, we've had something old, well, Terry Pratchett. We've had something well-established, N.K. Jemison. Now we're gonna have something brand new. This is Temi O. She is a ridiculously young writer. I mean, younger than my son, which is just depressing in so many ways. Very, very talented. This is a brilliant first novel that I recommend. If you, if you want to read space opera, modern space opera, this is a very good book to read. And I would suggest um, that you keep the first edition. Get a first edition and keep it because I have a feeling she's going to go on and eclipse us all and be very depressingly successful. Not for her, obviously, she's going to be very happy.